What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, from the Game of Hero. Welcome back to another episode. Or, another episode. It's a new episode. <laughs> it's a new series that is going to be on the channel. Danganronpa, Traeger Happy Havoc. Now, it's blind, so I have no idea what's happening. Um, you guys are going to see a running theme on the channel of me doing, like, blind playthroughs of games. Because I feel like getting my first genuine reactions to games is nice and all. And it makes things kind of... And it puts things in an interesting spot. So, anyways, Trigger Happy Havoc, Dang and Ropa. So let's get into this. I don't even know the main concept. What I was told is thanks Survivor, but on a grander scale. I like Survivor. So I watch it like this, in theory, if it's like that, but we'll find out. So I'm getting a jacket. It got cold all of a sudden. Okay new game hopefully the i balance i tried to balance it with the uh i tried to balance it logic difficulty uh wait what logic difficulty oh I, i'm gonna have to be thinking okay so it's not like a visual novel logic difficulty you know what forget let's go meme let's make Mo let's make monokuma mad at us Monokuma's gonna hate us. I don't care. Uh, action difficulty, that could be kind. What does this mean? Is this like a different track or a storyline track for me? Action difficulty, kind. Logic difficulty, mean. Yeah, we're going with it. I, I, this sounds good, honestly. Cool. I mean, timing based events or having kinder timing based events, I'm fine with. If we have those. Hi, buddy. Buddy old pal. Monokuma. Oh. <laughs> Yikes, Monokuma. Okay, buddy. Oh, we're on a trip already. Oh boy. Um. Monokuma. Did you build that robot, Monokuma? Oh, we're in for a ride if that was the intro. Oh, we are so in for a ride if that was the intro. Oh boy. Massive high school towers over all the other buildings in the urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Hope Peak Academy. It brings the top students from every field imaginable, a government-funded school of privilege. They say that when you come here, you manage to graduate. You'll set, be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every single year. We built, and it was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a very fitting name. There's two things that you need to attend this school. Once you have once, one, you have to be already attending high school. Two, you have to be at the very best at what you do. No ordinary student can be enrolled here. Only way is if you're scouted by school itself. As it's st And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school is filled with the ultimate students. Was me. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. As you can see, I'm nothing but a hopelessly average high school student. Average on the outside, average on the inside. I really don't have much going for me when it comes to grades, special abilities, even personality. I mean, I have hobbies and stuff like I do, or I like to do, but 
it's not like I'm psychic or mutant or whatever. Like, if you asked me what my favorite song was or what my favorite movie was or TV show, they'd all just be whatever's popular at the particular moment. Even among the average, I'm completely average, so I can't even say that I'm your everyday hero type. That's just who I am. Anyway, I figure it is good to introduce my, yourself right off the bat, right? But you know, if I have any kind of strong point, so to speak, I'd say I'm a little more gun ho than other people. I mean, look at me. I'm completely ordinary, but still, here I am, sitting in the front of the Anything But Ordinary Hope Speak Academy. I still can't believe I'm standing right here, and I wonder if someone like me can survive in a place like this. I got this overwhelming presence like I'm trying to swallow me, swallow me whole, but no wonder I would feel that way. What you have to understand is, well, let me just tell you about the preparation I did last night to get ready for today. Hope Speak invites only those students who are truly elite in their field. Such It's such a popular topic that these threads online dedicated to talking about the school's attendees. So prepare, I looked up, to prepare, I looked up some of these threads. And so all I saw was them talk about ultimate students who are beyond their average high schooler. For example, one of the Academy students is an ultimate pop sensation. I guess the high school girl who has also led, been the lead singer for a pop group famous all over the country. There's an ultimate baseball star. He's a cleanup hitter of the National High School Champs. Pro teams already have their eyes on. There's an ultimate fashionista. She's been on the cover of tons of fashion magazines and went to every high school, or what she went where every high school wants to be. Oh, and there's an ultimate biker gang leader, too. The scary thing is, is he's the de facto leader for every biker gang in Japan. Gangs everywhere love this guy. On top of that, there's an ultimate martial artist, an ultimate fanfic creator, an ultimate gambler, an ultimate swimming pro, an ultimate programmer, an ultimate clairvoyant, and then some reading that made me realize how totally powerless I was. It was the country's finest top to bottom. It felt tame, like a tame little house. I felt like a tame little house cat who'd wandered into a pride of lions. But still, there was something that I couldn't stop thinking about. You see, a few students who I couldn't find any info on in the matter, how much I looked, with all the ultimate students, I'm the only one without some kind of worthwhile talent. But then, what about the other students who didn't seem to pop up anywhere? Could they be as average students just like myself without any talent or anything? That thought was kind of encouraging. I mean, I know I don't have much in the way of personality, but beyond that, there's a bigger issue. How did such unbelievably average student like myself get picked to be in an ultimate high school like this? I mean, I guess there is a reason. You just have to take one glance at the uh, apprentice letter they sent me. We recently held a lottery to select one ordinary student to attend our school. As a result, you've been deselected and we invite you to join us as the ultimate lucky student. There he spelled it out it's plain as day i got invited by pure luck honestly i would be better off just declining their offer after hearing how graduating was a guarantee for success later in life how i couldn't just say no though but then accidentally standing in front of the actually standing in front of the store of the school i started to feel lost i didn't feel like i belonged i could feel myself losing my nerve but still i can't stand here in front of the gate forever Frozen in place, murmuring to myself, I looked down at the acceptance letter and clutched it in my hand. I said there'd be a meeting for all incoming students in the main hall at 8 a.m. The meeting still isn't for a while, but I should probably head in. Yeah, let's do this. I gathered up my determination and tried to act like I had done this a million times before. I took my first step and towards the main hall. This is where I was supposed to meet, right? I guess I'm the first one here. There's a really good, elegant Glock over there in the corner, and it says 7.10. The meeting, it doesn't start till 8 o'clock, so there's still a full 50 minutes left. It makes sense nobody's here yet. So I I was so wound up, I got here way too early. I have plenty of time before the meeting. Just to stand around and wait isn't exactly something I should do. I should take a look around the school. Maybe that'll help calm down a little. I am a student here now, and so I shouldn't be any problem. there shouldn't be any problem with me having a look around, right? It'll help me kill some time, if nothing else. Trying to play it cool into my first step in the Hope Peak Academy. It also was my first step towards starting a new life at a new school. At least, that's what I was hoping for. What the? 
The instant I took the step, first step forward, my view became warped and twisted. It was like some kind of delusion melting away and mixing together into something else. Spinning, mixing, melting away, then spinning again. And the next moment, everything went black. And that's how it all began. And how my life, as I knew it, came to an end. At this point, I should have realized the reason I was brought to Hope Peak Academy wasn't because I had ultimate good luck. It was so I could experience the ultimate despair. Welcome to despair. Oh, great. Monokuma, hi. <laughs> Would you like to save data? Yes. Anytime the game asks, do you want to save? I'm just going to say, I'm going to say yes. Ugh. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of the hard wooden desk. My body felt savvy. It's, I, it's uh, pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of uh, some boring class or whatever, but I was, what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom I've ever seen and ever been in before. What the heck's going on? Welcome to Hope Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You use your left stick to aim. If you aim at an object and interact with it, you can press the A button. Press so you investigate that object. Use the directional buttons left and right to adjust your viewpoint. Why don't you go around looking around the classroom? Oh, there we go. I'd better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. That's a desk I fell asleep on. I can't still, I can still see the line of drool I left there. I have to clean that up later. Hey, what's on the desk? The next gemster is about to start, or next semester is about to start. Starting in, uh, starting today, this school will be your entire world. An orientation guide, it's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet, but there's something handwritten on it. I literally just read that. <laughs> what the hell, is there some uh, someone's idea of a joke? What the heck? This is in any normal classroom. There'd be a window, or where a window in any normal classroom. That's where a window would be. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And what if I were to knock on it? Bang, bang. Yep, definitely metal. Too thick, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here. More importantly, why is the metal plates over the windows? Security camera. We should probably double check what that's there for. That's a surveillance camera. It's dangerous. and da It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep weirdos from what, just wandering in. Jeez, I can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is, I got myself wound up, passed out in the main hall, and then somebody carried me here. If that's true, I must mean this classroom is inside of Hoax Peak. Then if that's true... That just raises more questions. This is really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows is like a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past meeting time, so there's other students there now. You leave your classroom by pressing the B button. Leave the area? Yes. Jeez, this hallway is kind of weird too. It's getting stranger by the second. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the left stick to move through the hallway. Hold down the B button when moving to run. You can press the Y button to bring up the map. The Y button again to close the map. How convenient. Despair Hotel. I guess it's a place where you can stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Oh, it's not going to let me get there. Okay. Red door, I guess. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. The hard part is I don't know what the main hall would look like. Oh, it's probably this here, actually. 
Yep. <laughs> I was like, it's probably the open door. You know, that open door, when that exists, usually that would mean that you go in the door. Also capture cursors on. I'm sorry, Joy. I'm fixing that. Sorry. By the time I got back to the main hall, dot, 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 everyone else was already there. Whoa, hey, another new kid? Huh? Then you guys are all... Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, that makes 15. Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. It looked like everyone around had gathered here, talking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel some kind of aura coming from each one of them. Um, how's it going? My name is Mikado Miege. Um, sorry I'm late. I had a bunch of stuff happen, and then all of a sudden, I was just asleep. Hmm? Whoa, you two. Mm. That thing, that thing's just getting curiouser and curiouser. Mm -hmm. So strange, I declare it, beyond a shadow of a doubt. This is a strange situation indeed. Um, what are you talking about? I honestly have no idea what's going on right now. Got it. Just a moment. There's something else we must address. Listen to me. Mikado, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you are aware that the meeting started at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on your first day is unspeakable. I must report you. You must accept your due punishment. What? What's the problem? Like, it's not like he wanted to be late. He didn't have any control over it. That's right! Everyone, just calm down. Why don't we all just go around and introduce ourselves? Yes. The hell are... There is no friggin' time for introductions. <laughs> Maybe it's a good idea to at least find out who we are before digging into bigger problems here. Maybe. I mean, how are we supposed to talk to each other if there's... If we don't know each other's by name? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, okay, let's get the introductions out of the way, and then we can move on to whatever else. Sound good? I'm still totally lost, but I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess it's a good chance. I'm as good of a chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked up everyone at Hope Peak online, but still don't know the kind of people they actually are. So it's time to find out. I'll start by talking with the five over there. Aim at the student and press to talk to them. Keep track. Or each conversation is important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. Oh, it gives me their name. Cool. Um, Sayaka kind of sounded cool for a second, so we'll talk to her first. Hi, I'm Sayaka Mizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Oh, <laughs> she's the pop star, of course. <laughs> the way she moves positively memory. <laughs> Is positively mem mesmerizing and that pleasant scent I can't quite place. Sayaka. When I saw her name in the thread outline, frankly, I was pretty surprised. She's a pop star in a famous group all across the country, and the fact that she's the lead singer, the ultimate pop sensation. She's in high demand and appears in TV, magazines, and everywhere. But actually, it's not the only reason I was so surprised to find her. She'd be going to this school. She doesn't. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but. Well, never mind. No matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful and almost like a doll or something. I'm not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh? Did you hear me? I... I'm psychic. Huh? <laughs> Kidding! I just have really good intuition. She's a sharp one. Hey, um... Um, hey, by any chance... Now what? Huh? Yeah, it must be. I'm sure of it. Hey, Makoto did. Just hold on! Jeez, guys, how long do you plan to waste your valuable time with the ridiculous back and forth? Uh, um... S sorry I, I'm just getting carried away, I guess. You hear me? Self-introductions are for introducing yourself and not for bumbling into the bunch of idle chit-chat. Um... Uh, you're, you're right. Sorry. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Sounds like Sayaka really had something she wanted to say, but... It's not like we'll ever get to the chance or never get to see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. You, I'm getting to get go to next because you're making me mad. I'm Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. Moral compass. So that's K 
Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous primary school and won top honors every year. He basically is a flawless honors student. He also knows he's also known for the work he's done for this co uh, community public morals committee. They say he's the ultimate moral compass. Mm. Mm. Anyways, you can call me Taka. My name you said your name was Makoto, right? <laughs> That's a good name, a strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent you hear name. Me? And keep that name from losing its value. You must devote yourself every Got single it. day. Life is worth putting everyone, every ounce of effort into it, right? This guy's kind of annoying. Fuck. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? I literally just said that. But, like, honestly, though, it kind of makes sense. I kind of get it. Um, I don't know you... We'll talk to you probably. I feel like the order actually matters on this too. I am Hifumi Yamada. But if you want to call me by my nickname, the Alpha and the Omega. I don't mind. <laughs> Why is that not surprising me out of this character? The ultimate fanfic creator. Oh my god, I mm -hmm. guessed that one. <laughs> by the way. How much do you know about the world of 2D art? The world of 2D? <laughs> well, in the world, I am known and supremely regarded as the ultimate fanfic <laughs> creator. I have sold once 10,000 copies of my fan comics at a school festival. An event has passed into legend. <laughs> and some of them don't get it, of course. I'd be saying, t <laughs> saying I'd tainted the event. But how stupid can you be? That's too bad about them. But selling 10,000 copies is like definitely pretty However... remarkable. The words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am Van Gogh, utterly unappreciated by in my time. I am a soldier serving the night, the day, to destroy all my preconceptions about fan fiction. I am sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Miyagi, you would be comp you would be able to comprehend its greatness immediately. Mm -hmm. For my work is filled with the deepest of meaning. What kind of meaning? Yes, indeed. It's about embracing the barest urges. I, I don't think I want to comprehend that. I'm with my character right now. Okay, Leon, you're next. I don't even know who you're. You're. Yo, the name's Leon Kuwata. What's up? Oh, he's the baseball star. Okay. I recognize that name. He played at the National High School. We just got the. Yeah. Okay. We figured that out already. We we got talked to. You seriously? Huh? huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured you were being the ultimate baseball star at all. What, were you expecting some kind of kid with a shaved head? Shaved head? No, I was expecting more of a, you know, sporty-looking traditional baseball player type. I mean, when I found this article picture of you online, that's how you looked then. <laughs> Aw, so you found a picture of me playing baseball. Seriously, I hate that picture. Crap? This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. It's like mega embarrassing right now. I didn't have a choice, okay? Shaving your head is like part of the national championship regulations. Uh, Seriously? But now I can I can, but now I refuse to cut my hair and I'm gonna dye it back to normal and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Hey, listen. Actually, if I'm gonna be totally you honest, know. I don't like baseball that much. It's just like I've never gone to a single practice or anything. <laughs> he's never practiced, but he's still the team star player. What kind of a yeah. he's some kind of prodigy? As soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream for the future. A dream for the future. <laughs> the only path in life is getting into music. So, you know, you could you could feel that star quality aura I have. Right? You know what I mean. I'm gonna be a singer. So, all I need is a songwriter and some sort of guitar, and we're all set. How cool is that? The new version of me is chasing my next dream. It's like super cool to the max. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear that from a baseball star. Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko. Toko Fukawa. The writing prodigy. Okay, so we have a fanfic creator and a writer. Yeah, she wrote a novel when she was like 10, and that got everyone talking and launched her literacy career. Two years ago, she released So Lingers the Ocean, a love story, said to be her masterpiece. The book was such a hit with women, and the fishermen quickly shot the top of the hottest men pole. But despite her age, she won countless literary prizes, and her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's become known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else could be young, or what else would you call such a young and talented author? I figured she'd be a lovely dovey, the lovey-dovey type, with the masterpiece being in romance and all. <laughs> What's your problem? What? It's not, it's not polite to stare, you know. 
Stop staring at me, some you, like some filthy creature. Filthy creature. No, I just thought. I know. Uh, no, no. I know what you just thought. You, you, you just thought that you'd never seen such an ugly woman, and you just thought it was so funny. No, that's not what I was thinking at all. I'm Don't you. bother trying to lie to me. I, I know. And otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. Anyway. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm used to it by now. Wow, talking about talking about an inferiority complex, that was way off about what a successful author would be like. Okay, now talk to these five people. We got to kind of know these five people already. Hey ya! I'm Aoi Asahina. But my friends just call me Hina. Sup? Hina Hina is the swimming pro. She's been breaking records in every competition she's since elementary school. She's even been chosen the upcoming Olympic candidate. She's no doubt the ultimate swimming crowd. A combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions are widely discussed online. Mm. Uh, so what's your name again? Sorry, I totally forgot. Matako? <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it. It was something like that. No, not something like that. It is that. You got it. Sure, sure, sure. Got it. I'll just hammer it into my brain right yeah. now. Matako Nagi. Matako Nagi. She kept repeating my name, moving her finger across the palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? Huh? You don't know. If you want to remember someone's name, you got to write it on your hand like three times. I've never heard that before in my life. Mm. Hey, by the way, how do you spell your last name? You spell it exactly like it sounds. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I have no idea. I'll just have to figure it out and write it down later. Okay. Anyways, glad to meet you. Sure. Like the same here. One thing I learned is she's totally easygoing and bursts with energy. Hi! I'm Junko Enoshima. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay. I should have expected that. I don't know why I didn't. Anyways, who would recognize this one? She has more charm. Yeah, we know that she's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her tons in magazines covers, but never in the person. I feel like it doesn't quite match up in reality. What? Huh? Come on. Are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Like, <laughs> come on. Well, of course, because those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited to the hell and back with computers and junk. So, they really aren't that real. What can we do? Come on, don't act like you're surprised. You're going to make me feel all depressed. Totally. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, then you'd be totally blown away by a certain dangerous little diva of ours. <laughs> Anyways, make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks ceramic and porcelain. Uh oh. So many dreams are getting crushed today. Um. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Chihiro Fujisaki. Oh, that's why I took a liking to her. Okay, she's the programmer. That makes sense. There, I was like, I, I just didn't want to talk to her first. Because, you know, you don't usually talk to the people you want to talk to first. That's how that works. You always talk to them, like, second or third. Sorry, I kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself. <laughs> Anyways, I hope we can get along. Same here. Nice to meet you. Huh? Maybe it's just my imagination. But have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time. Which is why uh, I said nice to meet you. I'm sorry. Oh, good point. Sorry. You don't have to apologize yeah. for that. Is yeah. She's get, she's also got that timid little bunny type thing going where she's endeared she that has which has endeared her into her legion of fans. Um, hey, so listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What are you apologizing um, for now? Well, it's just because you seem upset. You must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? huh? Lost in thought? Yeah, it had nothing to do with me or being upset or anything. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Uh, I don't know who's next. Mondo can be next, the Biker King dude. Name's Mondo Awada. Nice to fucking meet you. Woohoo! Okay. You know, I should have expected that, but like, I was not expecting that one. I'm sorry. 
He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He earned respect and awe. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Um, nice to meet you. Yo. Hell yeah. Better careful around him. One wrong word and it could be bottom of the sea. Kyoko. Just thoughts. Um, can I ask your name? My name is Kyoko Kirigiri. Ultimate question mark. Uh-oh. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? But, you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in the Hope's Peak Academy thread. And I didn't see where this they were students like me, so... didn't Ones who didn't have their real identity or presence. Could this be one of them? Um, so what are you doing at this school? What? what is that supposed to mean? No, I just meant, like, getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? That doesn't matter. Huh? Well, I guess you don't have to tell me. <sighs> no, I don't have to tell you. So I'm not going to. Anyway, she turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she'd be picked by chance like me. But her face is like an iron mask. She doesn't want me to. So she doesn't want to tell me anything. No point in asking. There's four over there. Only four left. Which I don't know any of these four. I'll go with this guy first. I am Sakura Ogami. Okay, that's what I expected, because they talked about that. Oh, jeez. I almost asked her if she was a guy. The day I say something like that out loud is the day that I get turned into a human meatball. Now, I remember she completed martial arts tournaments in America and won despite being a girl. She's fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. The thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. Even some think she's the closest known relative to the primates and famed a missing link. The incoming Hope Speak students are reading this. Let me warn you right now. If you value her life, avoid her at all costs. Staying in front of her now. I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey. Hey, you. Uh, yes. I snapped the attention without even realizing it. She started to poke and prod at my body. Um, what are you? I see. Muscular quality and quantity is right around of the extremely ordinary high school students. Hmm. hmm, what a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. Not sure which, the way that, if that's much to, as a shame for me, or much of a shame for me. Name's Byakuya Togami. Affluent, affluent. Okay. Nice to meet you. That's the most half-assed introduction I've ever heard. But there isn't really anything I can do about it. I'm among, even among the Oldsman students, this one is special. The heir apparent, he's the heir apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing a business operations and his own personal assets are well vast. The ultimate affluent prod er, pro progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I've learned about him from Hope's Peak Academy. Come on. on. Well, I'm done with interruption introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away. I'm just sick of looking at you. His aura says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level. He's like the king of carnage or something like that. Uh, let's talk to Celeste. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Ludenberg. Gambler. Celestia Luden, huh? <laughs> Ludenberg is my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you just call me Celeste. Um, you are Japanese, right? Huh? Of course, why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But as I mentioned, I would prefer you call me Celeste. She is polite but forceful at the same time. I don't think she wants to say any more about it. I guess the rumors on this thread were right about her. The self-styled Celestia Ludenberg. She's the ultimate gambler and never lost a bet. Other than her obvious gothic loti er, l Lolita clothes, everything about her was wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won to understand underground gambling tournament known as the title and known for earning the title of the Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, talking, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. <laughs> I look forward to getting to know you better. <laughs> The smile is beyond the deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. I'm Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hero for short. 
Okay. Take it easy, yeah? So we have Hino and Hero. The ultimate clairvoyant. He's known as the supernova in the psychic community and the transcending ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really like get all fortune telling stuff, but it's pretty beyond meme. Still, can't help wondering if there's any truth Could to it. it. Be... Okay, I give up. What happened? Serious. I saw it. It looked. I looked right at it. Seriously, totally, I saw it. Saw what? Hmm. A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after a Bigfoot running off the skyfish in the mouth. The guardian angel is your guardian angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But hey, you want to grab some Bruce E's sometime and get real deep into the Lumera and, and its, Lumeria and its civilization? What? We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. You know? Oh, I'm actually 21. I was held back a few times, see? And well, that's uh, a long story. A few times. I bet it's going to be a long story. And with that, introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they all seem to have their own individual sort of um something. <laughs> okay, time to get down to business. There's no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, <laughs> that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Um, listen. Well, you see, uh, um, um... Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Just after each of us got into the mean hall, we lost consciousness. And then we came to... We were somewhere here in the school when that happened to you, right? But that's just so weird. That's... Every one of us would have gotten knocked out like that. Piece of shit! Exactly. It's why we're all freaking out. Mm. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and the hallways were, right? But instead of normal glass windows, it's a bunch of big metal plates. What was that about? Are you for real? Plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Um. Uh, yeah, you're right. I haven't seen my PDA anywhere either. I haven't seen my PDA. In my head, PDA is always public display of affection, so I don't know what that would mean in the sense. <clears throat> and then there's this main hall there. Front exit completely blocked off by some giant metal What's hats. What mean? But there wasn't anything like that when I first got what here. The heck? What the heck is that even doing Aww. here? Maybe we just got caught up in some kind of like, you know, crime or something. Is it like a kidnapping? <laughs> you don't think any somebody grabbed us all off of that and we're actually not at the school. Hey, come on. Come on, don't think like that. Cheer up. I bet this is all part of the school's orientation you procedure. Know? Yeah, I'm sure of it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little I bit. I see. Oh. So, you think they wanted us to do something to surprise us? What the hell? Ha! Huh, what the <laughs> Well, if you think that's all it is, it's nap time for me. You know what I mean. Well, I was way too late, so I could use some shut eye. feel like everyone's tension's evaporating. But then again... Testing, testing, mic check, one, two, this is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place, so it's so playful and yet completely unconcerned. I can help but feel a deep, unnerving dread. That's not, that's the sound of it. it. was like hearing somebody laugh at the scene of an accident. Uh, to all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony at right now please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience that's all i'll be waiting huh? what the hell was that just now goodbye well then if you excuse me hey. hey what are you gonna take off just like that could it be oh yeah now i get it the whole thing is just like getting us pumped up for the entrance ceremony <laughs> man thank god it was all a joke i'd be totally freaked you out know? if this was real but all right i gotta head out too wonder what they got planned for us huh. next. Uh, Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap. Uh, why did they have to go and kill the mood huh? like that? Well, wait for me. I'm gonna go. <laughs> That's it then. We'll see you all there. Anyway. Not that anybody cares, but I'm gonna go too. Uh, everyone took off to the gym, but I was frozen there when I stood. The uneasy feeling I had before. I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one either. Uh, um, um, this doesn't seem right. This is bad. Yeah, the amount was totally weird. However... Maybe just staying put doesn't mean we'll all be safe. Besides, aren't you guys a little bit curious to find out what's going to be going on in I there? I see. If we don't move forward, then we'll learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I, I guess she's right. But still, I kind of 
no. I'm really nervous. We don't have a choice. We have to go. They said go to the gym, right? You want to save data? Yes. And then in the next episode, we'll take on the gym, figure out what's going on there, and all of the stuff lies ahead. See you guys then.